Orleans Parish Sheriff Susan Hudson is pitching a property tax increase to the residents of New Orleans. She says the additional millage is necessary to lower crime. Good evening, I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Sheree Skipson. That initiative is on the April 29th election ballot, but city council members are concerned the public doesn't know enough about it. Alyssa Curtis was there as Sheriff Hudson told, had the first community meeting tonight. Alyssa, what did everybody have to say? Well, we still don't understand or have a great grasp of what the residents feel because not many of them were there tonight. Most of the people who were in attendance work for OPSL. Only a handful of attendees aren't their employees. The residents we did speak to seem to be understanding of what the sheriff is asking for, but they do still have concerns. Every day this jail is dangerous. It is dangerous to our team and it is dangerous to the residents who live there. There's no waiting. That's Orleans Parish Sheriff Susan Hudson's argument for why people should vote yes to the millage. It would roughly double property taxes that go to the sheriff's office. Staffing, training and equipment are the three main areas Hudson says that money will go to. I can't seem to keep staffing. Bruce Riley, a resident who was formerly incarcerated, says he knows firsthand there needs to be upgrades to the jail, specifically technology. Technology is really critical and the part that I was most interested in was the tablets for everybody. Uh, because that was the thing that would most directly impact people who are stuck in there with nothing else to do. But he raises concerns about the cost impact it would have on residents. Many, he says, who are already struggling financially. Hudson says this is the way to achieve what the public asked for. They have asked for public safety, and this is all about public safety. This millage is all about public safety. Um, when we retain employees, we keep the jail safe. That's less liability for our community. We can make sure the courts are open, that justice is served, and that public safety can be served. While Hudson says this is what the residents asked for, we still don't know if it's what they'll vote for. I revoted. I voted no because I just can't, in my good conscience, give any money to the criminal industrial complex. Early voting has already started. The election is on April 29th. The Sheriff's Office is holding another input meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. in Algiers. Devin. Alyssa, thank you.